back to this channel. My name is Omolade Adeyemi. I remain your fashion teacher, the CEO of La Richard Design. In today's training, we are going to teach you how to cut and sew an off-shoulder blouse. This is like the one I'm putting on. This is the off-shoulder blouse. This is the sleeve. I added some embellishment. I used something, a flower to embellish it. So I use a flare sleeve also and I um and i weave the sleeve so this is the front and this is the back so i made the flare a box please so if you're new to this channel please we need you to subscribe like drop your comments any observation ask your question very important we need you to ask your questions hello good day my name is omolade adeyemi i remain your fashion teacher the ceo of la Riche designs today's topic is going to be how to draft a off shoulder blouse how to draft the off shoulder blouse this kind of off shoulder blouse is not the off shoulder that you cut here and fix your sleeve and like that but this kind of off shoulder is a kind of off shoulder that you have an extension you have an extension to this point hold on let me draft what i mean have an extension like this going to be like this. let me sketch sorry it's not draft so let me have a sketch of what i'm talking about let's say this is, this is it this part you're going to attach is going to you're going to attach the sleeve you would have sketched your sleeve you attach it here you attach it here so it depends on the kind of slit you attach the sleeve you attach so you extend it here then you measure how off you want it to be then you shape it from there to create your neckline it might be a round neck let's say this is the back so you can shape it like this you shape it like this most of the time the, the back is always v or round so you shape it like this so it's going to have an extension like this. So it's going to be like this. So this part will be off it. This is the off shoulder. This is the off part. So your sleeve, your your uh, your your pattern is now going to start from here, something like this, something like this. Then you now fix the sleeve. It's going to be something like this. Sorry, something like this. So you're not going to fix your sleeve somewhere here. Most of the time, you're always having a balloon sleeve, a flare sleeve. So you're not fix the sleeve around that area. So something like this is what we're talking about. This is the off part. This part you're going to chop off. So you're now going to start from somewhere here. It depends on how off you can break it down. You can raise it up. Depends on how off you want it to be. So I've drafted my sleeve pattern. This is the back. This is the front. I want you to know that, that this the part that you have quarter inch down, quarter inch up is the part for the back. It's the part that is going to the back. And the part that you have half inch down, I mean quarter inch up, half inch down is the part that is going to the front. I want you to remember that. So now the next thing we are going to do before um this we've drafted the underboss. I'm going to make it a underbust contouring blouse, maybe because I like underbust. So I've drafted the underbust. This is it. This is the front and this is the back. So the next thing I want to do <clears throat> is to pick up my sleeve pattern. I'll pick up my sleeve pattern. I'll give it the desired length. It's not going to be more than from here, from the tip here, from the middle point. It's not going to be more than three inches down. Then I'll give it this shape. I'll connect it from, you know, the, the front part. When I was drafting the sleeve, this part is 0 0.75 up. This is quarter of half inch down. Half inch down. This part is half inch down. Then this part is quarter down, quarter up, 0 0.6 inches, 0 0.6 inch up. So I'm now going to create the shape from the quarter from the quarter down at the front part is from the quarter down i'm going to shape it this way i'm 
then the other parts also using this part of my ruler you can see where i'm connecting it from the quarter up here to this point so now i'm going to label it again because i'm cutting off this part so this is the back this is the front i can also do that at the i'm labeling it here this is the front this is the back so i want to cut off this part of the sleeve set this aside it's no more useful i come to the middle here to divide the sleeve this upper part into two so and i want you to do something you know we have two round area here we have this part and this part so this is the upper part this is the down part And you should know this part is the center part. Center, up, down. So that you won't place it wrongly. So, so the next thing we are going to do, let's start with the front. So this is the back piece. I'm setting this aside. So this is the front. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come here bring the shape like this so this part is going to have it's going to have um a okay so what you're going to do the way you're going to shape it this place you're going to place it this way because i'm still going to be tape it down so this place you're going to open it up by quarter inch 0 0.25 before you tape it down so you make sure, you make sure the distance between this part, this place, and the sleeve we are attaching to it is not more than zero point zero point two five inch opening. That is quarter inch opening. So hold on, hold on, please hold on. In case you don't know, we have an online fashion institute. We are going to teach you full pattern drafting training. We are going to take you from the scratch how to use your machine to the climax. You are going to be the best designers in town. For more information, visit our website on www.larichedesigns.com. This is it. Then you people tape it down. Not the way I'm shaping, as in not the way I place it. So the up is at the upper part, the down part is at the down part. So I'm going to prepare it down, tip it down like this. I can't move the back also down. So by the time I cut it, it get separated from. So the next thing I'll do is to measure how off. Because you know, from here to this place is where your shoulder is. That is from here to this place. And the sleeve, this upper part of the sleeve is that part somewhere here. So you need to now determine from here down how off you want it to be. So this will determine that. So from here to whatever measurement you take here will be how low you want your off to be. So from here to this part, you can go down by one and a half, two inches. So let's measure from here. You can make it one and a half off. So I'll mark one and a half. After that, this is my one and a half. So after that, I'll measure the length of my neckline. The length of the, length of the neckline. We want it to be as low as six and a half inch, seven inches. Let me, me let me make it not up to seven inches. I really want it to open up my cleavage. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do is to shape the kind of neckline I want for it. 
Most of the time, you can make it a sweeter to neck, something like this. A shape like this. Let me just give it a sketch. A shape like this. That will come this way. Then you blend it to this part. And you, with that sweetheart, most of the time it needs to come down a bit. It needs to come down a bit. And you can make it a round neckline. Something like this. So I think I should give it a round neckline. So let me get from that one and a half inch down. You shape it like this to the point where you want it to be low. To the depth of your neckline. So this is it. This is it. So let's move to the back. We are done with the front. So the next thing is just to cut it and I will explain. Then I will explain some other things. So this is the front. Let's set this aside. So let's move to the back pattern. So like I said, for the back pattern, this is the upper part. So you know this is the upper part. I've labeled this is the down part. But for us to place it, we are not going to place it this way. It's not so if you say we want to place it this way, we've turned it upside down. So the next thing is just to turn it to the other side, which this is the up and this is the down part. You can see this is the upper part here. This is the first thing we did. This is the first one I did I leave it up and down. And I need to make sure this part is also up and this is the down. So what I'm going to do is to place it also here. This is not the shoulder slim side. This is it. So I'm going to open it up by quarter of an inch like this, the same way I did for the front. And people take it down. So the next thing like I did for the front, I come here, I, sh I bring it down by one and a half inch. I make it off by one and a half inch. Then I'll make sure, measure the depth of my neckline. Oh, I've marked it here already, make it seven inches. So the next thing is to give it the kind of neckline I want. I might give it a round neckline. Let me give it a round neckline this time around, but I've been Giving myself a V, V, a V. So let me do this. The same thing with the back, um, the front. So it's just a bit lower than the front. So let me shape it this way. So this is all about the off shoulder. So the next thing is to cut it out. The next thing. We appreciate you for watching every of our videos. Please, if you're new to this channel, we need you to subscribe like drop your comments and don't forget at every point of achievement there will be a giveaway so please keep watching keep sharing with love drop your comments ask your question thank you